Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Scum. We are in that same small little town we left off in in episode 1 just north of the airfield. Let me show you my inventory real quick. I put everything inside the car except for a stone knife, an emergency bandage, a flare, and the pumpkin. Now I don't really need the flare so let me show you something I learned from you guys. And that is I can drop this into either one of these car icons and it will automatically pop into the inventory. And you can do that for anything that stores items, whether it's a backpack or a piece of clothing. Now also in the last episode, I said approaching the airfield from the north is the best way to do it. And I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. It's definitely not. You got the runway right there. And most of the buildings are on the south side. So let's get in the car. We'll drive around to the south side of this place, and that's the way we'll approach it. Because even though I haven't played this game that much, the airfield is a place I have raided before, and it's definitely going to be challenging. There's going to be mechs that are going to be constantly bothering us. The place where the loot is the best are these outdoor, like, storage buildings, and there's going to be at least one or two zombies in there that we're going to have to deal with. Sometimes maybe military zombies, and those guys could take two or three spears before they go down. So it's definitely going to be challenging, but... We'll take our time, we'll do our best not to die, because the last thing I want to see is this series end in episode 2. Let's stop right here real quick and grab another spear. I've got two on me, but three would be better. Alright, let's just put this one in our hands, and now we can just get right in the car, and we'll get out of the car with the spear still in our hands. Now, I don't know if that's because it automatically gets dropped into the car's inventory, or what, but... That's what happens. It works. When we get out of the car, we'll still have that third spear. Uh, I wish you could access the car's inventory from inside the vehicle, but uh, you can't do that. I don't know if that's just to keep you from feeling too safe or what, but... Alright, this is a, a good place to start right here. I kind of want to just push in there with the car, but I'm going to leave it here for now. I'll probably come back and get it, though. Because we can obviously move a lot faster with the car. And uh, we got like a rolling storage unit, you know. Let's check this little building right here. Sometimes these little uh, security buildings could have guns in them. No zombie. That's good. A feather. I think that's a cutting board or whatever. Nothing we need. A notebook. Alright, fuck it. Let's check these two buildings right here since they're so close. And then at that point, I'll probably just go get the car and we'll take it over to those buildings with the military loot. Decent amount of zombies around here already. And I am losing uh, some frames a little bit here and there. Oh, shit. We alerted someone already. Here we go. Come on, then. Oh, see ya. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, I was expecting it to not run as smoothly because uh, we're in a bigger area with a whole lot more shit going on, but it seems, the game seems to run pretty good for me. It definitely still needs work, but it's not bad. And uh, it's single player. You know, I've heard a lot of horror stories about multiplayer and bugs and issues people have. All right, there's no zombies in here. Close the door. Um, and I haven't even played multiplayer yet, to be honest. A lot of people were asking me why I'm not playing multiplayer, and that's because I'm just trying to make a chill, relaxing series, show you guys that, you know, you can play this game in single player and have a good time, and plus, you know, I don't want to spend uh, two hours looting just to get killed by some camper. That's a site for a compound bow. Not really wanting to use bows in this series, but, ah, fuck it, I'm gonna take it anyway, just in case we happen to find one. But yeah, dude, I, I don't want to play the game for two fucking hours and then some camper kills me, you know, or, or I run into like a group of three or four dudes and uh, I have no chance. That happened to me. I played a game called Miscreated, which is just like, you know, the typical MMO survival game. It's got survival elements. You start with nothing. You got to loot a whole bunch of shit. Oh, fuck. See, these mechs will give you a warning to leave the area, but then when they see me again, they're going to start firing. I'm just going to run for it. Because it doesn't sound like he's moving at all. Yeah, no. <laughs> hey, see, he took a couple of shots at me. And we it could be a one-shot kill if we get hit with uh, one of those rounds. We should just run for it. Oh, there we go. Fuck, man. Already we're getting shot at. So yeah, I played Miscreated. It was the first time I had ever played it, so I wasn't familiar with the map or anything for that matter. 
Uh, but I just dove right in, and eventually I found a little town and some homes and looted up or whatever. And uh, then I found a really big, like, city. And once I got into the city, these guys must have been, uh, you know, following me. Because I go into my first building, and I can hear them outside. And they're all telling me to come outside. You know, they just basically wanted to rob me. They wanted to take everything I had. Which wasn't much to begin with. But fuck those guys. I'm not just fucking walking out. So I threw a grenade out the window. <laughs> and Which pissed them off. They rushed the building. I killed two of them, and the rest of them killed me. And I was kind of like, you know, fuck this game. If you're not playing with a group of friends, then it's stupid. But I don't know. Those kind of games could be fun, too. I would, I would much rather, though, single player against challenging AI, especially when recording content. Because, oh, shit. Let me uh, park right here. We'll hop out into this building. This isn't the military place yet, but we're getting close. But that, that could be what I was just saying is probably because I'm a control freak. You know, I like having control over what's going to happen in the game. And you don't have that when you're playing multiplayer, obviously. Oh, I see a gun. Let's check these boxes here real quick. Okay, we've got an M9. I'll take that and some 9mm rounds. Now, all we need is a magazine because without one, we're just going to be loading that thing uh, one round at a time. And these electrical tools, I can't fit them in my inventory. I know the car's right outside, but screw it. I don't even know what you would use those for anyway. All right, let's check next door. And then the buildings with the military loot should be coming up. The main hangar has some decent loot too, but it's a bit more dangerous in there. With these buildings, I feel, you know, obviously more secure and safe once the doors are closed and you're in here alone. Nothing can fuck with you. The zombies can't open the doors and the mechs can't shoot through the walls. At least I don't think they can. But they won't shoot at you unless they see you anyway. Alright. Not seeing any of these mechs. Ah, I think there's one right here. Oh, shit. I thought he had his back to me. Well, that sucks. Um, I guess we can go around this way, because he's just going to stand there and wait for a little bit. Who knows if he'll even start moving. Just want to make sure I'm even going the right way here. Yeah. These are the buildings right here. But this dude is... Oh, shit. He's right there. All right, there is a way to get in from the back side, I believe. Oh, shit. This is not good. <laughs> See what I mean about the mechs constantly fucking with you? Oh, shit. Uh, now what do we do? Just sit here and pray? We can search the garbage. Hey, giant robots are shooting at you. Let's fucking loot the garbage cans. <laughs> Maybe we'll find something useful in here. Wire. Alright, what do we do? One of them is moving. Oh, it's the one back here. Oh, shit. Oh, he doesn't notice me. All right. Might be able to be sneaky here. Don't turn around. All right, close the door. That looks like we got one zombie in here, but that's a military zombie. So I'm going to try and get, like, a long shot. Oh, fuck yeah. Alright, he's gonna get up, though. Let's get another spear ready. Come on. Oh! That second one was a headshot. Nice. Alright, let's search him. We could take his armor. Who knows what kind of condition it's in. It looks pretty crappy. Yeah, not the best, but I'll take it. Any armor right now is better than no armor. He had 7.62 rounds on him also. His helmet's in pretty bad shape, but I'm going to take that, too, until we find something better. And let's eat a little something. Killing always makes me hungry. Some ammo. 5.56 five, rounds. There's so many different calibers in this game. It's what makes it such a pain in the ass to find a gun and then find the magazine for that gun and then the correct ammo for that gun. Uh, so it's kind of a pain in the ass, but it's also kind of cool at the same time. Got some 45 rounds here. Yeah, especially coming over from Seven Days to Die, because Seven Days to Die is like a action arcade game, basically. You know, where this is 
A lot more realistic. Oh, we got armor right here, which is in perfect condition. Let's replace that shit with it. But yeah, I'm not saying anything bad about Seven Days to Die. It's my favorite game. Uh, 545, that's for the AK-47U. But it definitely uh, feels like an arcade game, almost. You know, you can be like this crazy action hero fighting a giant horde. All sorts of ammo. Just gonna take everything. We'll go through it later. If you do have two types of the same ammo, though, you can drop them together and join them. Because they won't stack automatically. You're gonna have to do that manually. So that's fun. Okay, good amount of ammo. No guns or magazines, though. I'm going to sneak back to the car and unload our inventory. And then we'll get back to these buildings. I think there's about three or four of them. Okay, building number two. Military zombie right up front. Oh, that didn't stop him. Come on. Oh, shit, we got lucky there. Close the door. Wow. That was nice. Got some bullets right here in a magazine. It's an MP5 magazine and some 45 rounds. Loot's been pretty shitty so far. I think they really turned it down a lot, which is kind of silly. I mean, this is a single player game, so no one's looted any of this stuff before. Imagine playing multiplayer. Unless you know exactly where to go and what you're doing, you're just going to get destroyed by people that are just hoarding all the guns and loot and vehicles. You know? You guys stand no fucking chance. It'd be like a first grader playing varsity football. Building number three. No zombies up front, but there is one back there. See if we can get that long shot kill. Oh, Boom. Dead. That was easy. Let's go get our spear. Loot all this shit. And move on to building four. There's a AK-74U mag. We have some rounds for that. That holds a 545. So if we can find an AK-74U, we'll be looking good. Here's another M9. I guess I'll take it. We're going to have to make another run to the car here soon. It'd be cool as shit if you can dual wield. I don't think you can. But still nice to have a backup, though. All right. Let's move on to building number four. Got a zombie right there. Oh, shit. He notices us. Um, come on, then. I was going to close him out of here, but what's the point? Oh, headshot. <laughs> that didn't kill him, though. See? Head headshots. Oh, fuck. He's still not dead. Uh... Fuck. <laughs> Talk about waiting to the last second. See, though, a headshot doesn't kill those military guys. So it's a good fucking thing we stopped and made a third spear, or we would have been in trouble right there. All right, building number four. A zombie back there. And some military dude. Oh, he's up. Sit him again. Oh, beautiful. He's dead. Let's close this door. Damn, I don't know if my spear game is just on point today, or we've just been getting lucky. Uh, some canned peaches and 5.56 five, rounds. You can open that can with either a knife or a can opener. I think you used to be able to smash it open, but you, would, you wouldn't get as much from it. I don't know. Either way, we have a knife, so no big deal. And to anyone who might be wondering, um, you cannot kill the mechs. At least when... I first started playing this game, I watched a video of a whole bunch of dudes that spawned into the same game. Oh, Glock 21 mag. Take that. And yeah, there was like eight or nine of them, and they all tried, you know, they looted up heavy and went after a mech, and, you know. If these guys, the, the amount of rounds they put into this thing, they couldn't kill it, uh, I don't think you can, unless things have changed. Here's another helmet in perfect condition. We'll take that. Get this one out of here. AK-47 magazine. All this ammo and all these magazines. Where are the guns? Oh, shit. All right, let's try the back door. 
are we looking this way? Oh, shit. I was going to say, let's just go back to the car. Um, all right, let's just chill for a minute. Until these mechs start walking again. And then maybe we'll just go for building five. All right, building five. Oh, shit. Zombie. Hit him in the head. Or not. Okay, here we go. Oh, damn, he's tough. Uh, all right, we got to run for the door. We'll close him in here. Oh, now we're getting shot. All right. We're safe here for a second. Um, probably should go around back, right? Try and surprise this dude. All right, where's he at? Wait, that's not my dude. He's got no spears in him. No, oh, that was that was shitty. Oh, we're fucked now. Run! Oh, there's another one. Oh, there's my dude right there. Stuck on something. Now I got three zombies chasing me, and I have nothing. Oh, shit. Again, I'm getting shot at. I have no weapons. Lost all three spears. Oh, shit. Uh, close this door. Oh, all right, we got a little breathing room right now, but that's not good. We got three zombies running around there. We have no spears. At this point, we need to head for the car, I think. Let me get this out of the way first. Can't run with a full bladder. Alright, let's just get out of this area. For now, there are other buildings with military loot in it. Oh, shit. And we're bleeding out. This is great. Oh, please don't die. Please don't die. Let's get over here. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is not working out. Surprisingly, our car is still in pretty good health. Uh-oh. There's another mech back there. We gotta hop out and bandage up. There we go. Alright. Um, let's load some stuff into the car's inventory here. We'll eat something, too. Took a little bit of chest trauma, but all of that stuff should clear up and our health should continue to rise as long as we don't take any more damage. Now, I want to get in this building right here. And loot it, but there are probably zombies in there. Now, I could take the M9 and just load one round into it. Or I could take the sledgehammer or the pickaxe. But what I think what I'm going to do is just kind of sneak in there. And if there are any zombies, I'll try and run them out of the building and close the door behind them. All right, let's get in here. Nothing? Close the door. I think we're clear in here. That's lucky. Uh, here we go. Another Glock. 21 magazine and some 45 rounds. Uh, some 9mm. You know what? Fuck it. Let's bring the M9 down into our hands. Put a round in the chamber. Alright. It's been quiet out here. I'm gonna see if I can... loot these containers right here real fast. And then we'll... get in that building next door and see if we can get as lucky... and not have any zombies in there. Nope, not as lucky. Oh shit, he's getting up. That probably just pissed him off. Um, I really don't want to go around that side. Let's let this guy out. Come on, asshole. Oh, that didn't slow him down at all. Now these doors take a while to close. I don't know if I can close them out. Come on. Oh, fuck yeah. Alright, well we lucked out, but we also have a zombie now running around outside. Ooh, an MRE. I'll take that. Never complain about finding food. Would like to find a, a gun or an M9 magazine, though. I feel like the loot has been turned down a lot since the last time I played, though. Okay, a little food. Uh, MP5 magazine. A whole bunch of ammo. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, my God. Run. Get out this door. We're not going to have time to close it behind us. Let's just get right into this door. Close it. Close it. I don't even know if there's any zombies in here. There are. There's one. We haven't woken him up yet, though. Did we hit him? Oh, we definitely did right there. Okay. It's dead. Man, I can't believe how hard I gotta fight just to survive. But, that's the name of the game, right? 
is like I was saying in the beginning of this episode, not the easiest place to raid, but it is fun. All right, we're going right for the car. There are no more buildings over here anyway, and this is not the safest place to be. So let's just get in the car and get out of this area. Oh, we got a few more military buildings right here. And it's pretty quiet in terms of mechs. Let's hop out. Check this one. Ah, two zombies. Ah, fuck it. Close this door. Let's check this next one. Maybe we'll get a little luckier. Here. I don't see any. Alright, close the door. There's an M16 magazine, which I believe fires 5.56. Five, so, in order to have a gun with a decent amount of ammo that's ready to go, we need to either find an M9 magazine, an MP5, an AK-47, or an AK-74U, or an M16. Alright, let's go check out this third one. And unless I find a magazine for this M9, I'm not going to fuck with that first building that's got two zombies in it. Uh, it's got, one's got two in it also. Oh, he's getting up. Uh, close the door. Oh shit. Run away. I thought if I could maybe take that first guy out with a headshot, I could uh, sneak in and kill the second zombie also. Probably should just get out of here. What if I open this door? Oh shit, we got one right here too. Uh, did I kill him? I couldn't tell if I hit him in the neck or the head. He dropped, that doesn't mean he died. Alright, let's get out of this area. Part of me just wants to leave the airfield altogether. It's just been way too risky of a day. But, maybe we should go check out the main hangar. Oh shit, dude! Maybe I should watch what the fuck I'm doing. Don't ever drive with me. I cannot ensure your safety. Let's just pull right into the main hangar here. Or one of them. I think there's two hangars like this. Park it right here. Fucking thing is smoking. Oh shit! Oh no! I'm stuck. Please don't kill me. Oh fuck! Dude, they can't shoot through the walls. I'm bleeding out again. Uh, I have no medical bandages. They're in the car. Which, uh, will get us killed if we go near it. Right? Because isn't that guy right out there? Um, let me go back over here. Oh shit. We're gonna get killed. Uh, what can we use to patch our wounds? How about this military shirt we just picked up? It's in decent condition. As long as the rags are, I believe, over 50% in quality, you can use them to patch your wounds. Perfect. All right. This will at least stop the bleeding. I don't think it's going to give us health back. I don't know what you can use to get a big bump in your health. You just got to patch your wounds, you know, maybe eat something, and your health will start to... Uh, come up a little bit, but there might be something else you can find, like a first aid kit, or uh, maybe some painkillers that might get your health up a little quicker. Uh, I, I was thinking it might be fun to take this flare gun, but fuck it. What the hell are we going to do with a flare gun? I think that's really just mainly for uh, multiplayer. You know, maybe signal other players or whatever. I don't think it does anything in single player. I tell you, this airfield's been kind of a dud so far, even though we did find a shitload of ammo. That's pretty much it, though. Whoops. Come on. I'm stuck. Oh, damn. Oh, we're bleeding out from that again? Shit, I guess I opened up my wounds. All right. We got to find something else to patch ourselves up with now. Uh, what about our undershirt? Yeah, let's cut that up. All right, I'll put the other rag in my inventory in case I do something stupid again. Or for when I do something stupid again. Another M9. Do we really need a third M9? I guess I'll take it for now. We can always dump it. This game needs a traitor, though. I've said it before. I'll say it again. That'd be pretty fucking cool if... Um, a sewing kit. I'll take that. We can repair clothing items with that. But yeah, like if I can go to a trader right now and sell one of these M9s for maybe a few M9 magazines and some more ammo, that'd be friggin' sweet. Even in a multiplayer setting, 
that would be dope. You know, if you had a trader and you had an in-game currency, and then maybe people wouldn't be so toxic against each other if they could actually trade things and, and sell things to each other for currency exchanges. That would be pretty friggin' sweet. I don't know how you would monitor something like that, though. Oh, shit, here we go. An engraved AK-47, baby. Um, I don't have any of the ammo on me, but we have uh, ammo and a magazine in the truck. All right, let's see if we can get this loot here in the middle of the floor without getting noticed. And then we'll just get in the car and get the hell out of here. All right, we got a mech right here, but he's got his back to us. So, let's just sneak into the car, peel out. Oh, shit. How's he not noticing us? The car is smoking and everything. All right. That was lucky. Oh. I'm leaving. We're leaving right out the gate. So long, fuckers. All right, where should we go? Uh, we got a pretty big city to the east of us. At least I think it's a city. I don't know what it is. Probably should have studied the map a little bit before I started playing. It's right there, though. So let's go check it out. Stop here real quick and grab some corn. That's how bad I want to survive in this series. If cornmeal was in this game, I, I wouldn't tell it to fuck off. I'd make cornbread out of it. That's how... Uh, Serious, I'm taking this series here. I mean, I'm just trying not to die. That's all. Let's check this bad boy out. Look at this thing. I feel like I got that gold camo on it already. I got 15 rounds. Not much, but I'll take it. All right, let's roll. We're almost at this place. Even though I can see from here, it looks like this is the factory. I've never raided this place, but I have seen it before. And it's like a mega prison. That's what it looks like. It's called the factory, but it looks like a fucking prison from the outside. And it's protected with mechs. And I'm sure it's just going to be another uh, challenging place to raid. Which I'm always up for a challenge, but I kind of just want to find like a chill little town that we can go rest in right now. You know? And then kind of take a look at the map and, and make a rational decision on where I want to pick up episode 3. I don't know if it's the wisest decision to go right from the airfield to this factory. Alright, we got a small little town right up here that's just south of the factory. But we got a gas station right here I want to go check out. But that small town will be the perfect place to end this episode and pick up episode 3. These little gas stations are usually good for food and drink. Here we go, right off the bat, some cheese and a bottle of water. Let's see what else we can find in here. Cheese slices. Dude, I'm pretty sure for the whole, for the first two days, all we've eaten was cheese and a pumpkin. Oh, look at that, we got an airdrop coming in. Landing in two minutes. Let's see where that is at. Oh, just, just northwest of us, right by the factory, where we came from. Let's get back there and grab that. That'll be perfect. Whoops, got in the back seat. Yeah, we'll load up with guns from that drop, then we'll come back to this small little town, and that's where we'll end it. Look at this. All that craziness in the airfield, risking our life, and then we get an airdrop. Oh, shit. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Fucking die. Dude, I didn't know. What, what the fuck? Is that a goddamn boar? Yeah, I was not expecting zombies in here. I didn't even know zombies could be in cargo drops. That's pretty cool. We got an M1 clip, another Glock 21 mag, another AK-74U mag, and finally an M9 magazine. That is sweet. Uh, this one is filled with ammo. Boxes of it. Take all that. That is nice. Here we go. What do we got here? A Hunter 85. That is a 22 caliber rifle. And an MP5, which we have magazines for, and plenty of 9mm ammo. And in here we got food and drink. I won't complain about that. Alright. Not a fully loaded cargo drop, but, dude, definitely not going to complain. MP5, we have two MP5 magazines, at least two of them, maybe even three. Tons of 9mm ammo. 
We've got 22 caliber rounds, and that Hunter 85 has an internal magazine. I don't know how many rounds it can hold, maybe five. But that's friggin' sweet. Even though, what am I gonna do with a 22? Hunt small game, maybe? I don't know how, how much damage a 22 rifle will do to uh, these zombies. All right, here's this small little town. We'll stop right here. I'll check out this garage, and then we'll go in this house to my left, and that's where we'll end it. And this is where we'll pick up episode three. And maybe we'll search this small little town real quick, see if we can find maybe a police station or another vehicle. If we can find another vehicle, we'll switch out all the shit from this current vehicle we're using because it's smoking, or we can use our car repair kit on it. What is this thing? A Halloween mask? No thanks. I'm not playing dress up. I'm trying to survive. But, uh... Yeah, we'll pick it up here. I'll take a look at the map and see where we might want to go explore next in episode 3. If you guys have any suggestions, let me know. But, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're enjoying this series so far. I know it's a lot different than 7 Days. I'm just trying to see if we can, uh, like I said, make the single-player version of this game a fun experience. Oh, zombie. Oh, a whole lot of wasted shots there. I gotta get more used to the gunplay in this game. I gotta get more used to this game in general. So, alright guys, this is where I'm gonna end it. I will go through the inventory in the car uh, before we pick up the next episode, just so I know exactly what we have. I'm also gonna take a look at the map and see uh, where we might want to go in episode 3 and what would be a fun place to explore. So guys, again, I hope you enjoyed this episode and I hope you're enjoying this series so far. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more scum and I will catch you guys in the next episode.